What's up, everybody? It's Jeremy coming to you with another live stream. And today, we got a little bit to talk about. I'm going to give everybody time to roll in, as always. I need to tweet this out. I um, haven't even done that yet, so let me do that really quick, and uh, we'll get this party started. Hope all of you are doing well. Um, I see all of you in the chat. Uh, we got uh, a few things to talk about. Mainly, we're just going to laugh at Disney Star Wars fans because uh, they are constantly, constantly being offended over anything and everything they can victimize themselves. Um, we are live. Boom. And one more. One more. Give me just a minute. Come on. Come on. And... Bam. There we go. Okay. Okay. What's up, chat? How's everybody doing today? Raylos are weird. Uh, Solo did lose money. Uh, yes, Chrono Cross in the background. That's right. And Lego Batman. Lego Batman is actually good. Um, I forgot I even played Lego Batman. And it, it really does capture the, the Gotham atmosphere. Um, I really do like Lego Batman. Never been big into the Lego games. Um, I see a lot of you in the chat already. Hello, everybody. Krista. Krista Nova dropping all of the new emojis that she created for all of our members. Um, so that's really cool. Happy about that. Uh, mind control me, please, says Jose. Uh, that's why I want all of you to, to come watch me. Uh, my mind control will eventually get everyone in here. Um Drunk 3PO in the chat, the most famous YouTuber on the planet. Everyone say hello to Drunk 3PO. Uh, Drunk 3PO has had a, a hell of a hella few weeks. A hell of a few weeks, for sure. Uh, dude is a legit celebrity. Uh, I see Christopher Arcella. I see Clifton 3D. I see Krista Nova dropping all of those emojis. Um, uh, uh, uh. Lego Batman was my first video game. That shit gives me nostalgia. Yeah, it, it's really good. It's really good. Hey, there's Siobhan. Siobhan making an appearance. Siobhan, we are chaos. Making an appearance. Um, let me see. All right, everybody's rolling up in here. We got people liking the video. We got people sharing the video, commenting. Uh, it is awesome. We got Primer. Hail Jeremy, just got myself a PS2. Do you have any game recommendations? Man, PS2, the best-selling system of all time. PlayStation 2. Um, Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal. I can't remember. So Twisted Metal was, they all kind of run together from the PS1 and the PS2. Um, games like, I think Battle Arena Toshin Den was on the PS1 as well. Um, but Twisted Metal back in the day was next level. But I believe, so the first Twisted Metal, which I have on PS1, what was the Twisted Metal that came out on PS2? Chat, remind me. Um, Time Splitters 2 was great, absolutely. Um, I I prefer the PS1 to the PS2 personally. Um, Twisted Metal Black, yes, I have, I believe I have Twisted Metal Black. Okami says, We are chaos, yeah, Twisted Metal Black, man. Twisted Metal games in general are just awesome as hell. Um, they kind of had that, that kind of Mario Kart feel but in a different way but i'll tell you one racing game i'm looking forward to this hot wheels unleashed have you guys seen the trailer for hot wheels unleashed hot wheels unleashed looks incredible it looks absolutely incredible unbelievable um ps2 final fantasy let's see oh my God, we are never going to hear the end of jay getting together with gina i mean if you were in his position, you wouldn't you wouldn't shut up either. Uh, yeah, I got PS one over PS two, Siobhan. I got PS one. I'll take the PS one over PS two, and maybe there's some nostalgia with that. Um, but I have more. Yeah, I have a lot of fond memories of PS one. Matter of fact, that's what that's what Chrono Cross is playing on behind me is my PS one. I know it's kind of blurry, but. You can see it right there. There's my PS1. Let me see. Yeah, Hot Wheels does look awesome. That game looks incredible. Um, let me see. Um, 
Zova Quinn says, before we get started, I'd just like to say I'm not affiliated with Geeks and Gamers and also cereal and milk, pineapple pizza and sodomy. It's kind of gross. Cereal in milk? Cereal in milk is kind of gross. Is that what you're saying? Do we have one more that's jumping on the Ryan and Jeremy, you know, train of greatness? Is that what I'm understanding with your super chat? Um, Drunk 3PO says I was in that room. Uh, yes, Drunk 3PO over on his Jaywalking the Planet channel, which is doing really well uh, now that he started to upload um, a few things. It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool what, what he's got going on over there and how we're going to tie it into park hopping and everything like that. Uh, just saying, Jeremy does a lot of good. Well, thank you, Claude. I appreciate that. Um, actually, I meant Joey, not Jay. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Krista talking about Joey with the tapeworm, I believe. Uh, Dan, I did get your message. I probably won't be able to get with you guys today um, because I have to. So after this live stream, I'm joining my friends over on Black and White Sports to celebrate their 100,000 subscribers celebration stream. So that's going to be happening right after this stream. So if you're not subscribed to Black and White Sports, you definitely need to go over there and support those guys. Rhodes and John Matrix are awesome. John Matrix does work with Sports Wars, and I'm really proud of those guys. Their sports channel and our sports channel hit 100,000 subscribers within an hour of each other. I believe they got there first, and then Sports Wars hit it. Incredible. Absolutely incredible how that all played out. Um, there's Eric K in the house. Um, let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Have not watched Invincible yet. Have not. Big fan of the channel. Well, thank you, Rick. Appreciate that and appreciate your support. That is awesome. Uh, Callista, let's recognize Joey the Tapeworm for getting the signed action figure by Gina Carano. Joey the Tapeworm over Drunk 3PO because he doesn't have the signed action figure like Joey does. <laughs> That's good. That is good. We are going to talk about sequel trilogy fans getting really mad uh, over, over this uh, post on Twitter. And I just think it's funny. Uh, I think it's funny how these people continue to victimize themselves. I, I, I think that it's funny how they want to they want to trash uh, OT fans and prequel fans uh, and Legends fans for you know having uh, such a a connection to their characters, and then they say, "Well, it's just a space wizard movie. Why are you getting so upset?" And then they got big mad over this post on Twitter, and I just want to laugh at them and make fun of them because it's a lot of fun. And as I always say, and it doesn't really matter, and this is why clarification or context really doesn't matter, because I've said a thousand fucking times on this channel that you can like the goddamn sequels. I don't give a fuck. You can like these movies. They can be your favorite movies ever. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter to me. But when you start sitting there trying to fake victimize yourself, that's the people I'm talking to. If you're just generally a fan of the sequels, God bless you. Great. Go watch them. Go watch them as many times as you want and go watch them over and over again, you know, on streaming services to boost. I don't give a shit. Okay. But these sequel trilogy fans are always trying to victimize themselves. And those are the people I'm talking to. And it doesn't really matter that I clarify that because they're still going to make shit up. They're still going to say that I say this, that, or the other, because that's the type of people they are. They are, vic they just are. They are nothing but lifelong victims, and if they can't victimize themselves, then they have nothing to live for. These fucking people are losers. Um, Chris says, I saw a video that In-N-Out burgers suck. Well, that is uh, fake news. That is propaganda. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry that uh, I gave uh, those degenerates a platform to spew their uh, anti-In-N-Out burger rhetoric. Um, I will be better. I will do better. Um, as the leader, as the person that has platformed these uh, horrible people, uh, I, I will I will do better. I promise. Uh, no, that was actually a good video. I watched it uh, over on Jaywalking the Planet. Ryan and Jay, Drunk 3PO, for the first time ever, Jay had an In-N-Out burger, and he was not impressed. And um, again, he is a LeBron fan, so that kind of says a lot about why he doesn't like In-N-Out burger. That that kind of that kind of sums it up right there, you know, kind of sums it up right there. Uh, I see him in the chat right now. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Craig says, this channel is great. No guffer bullshit. Keep it going. Well, thank you, Craig. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Jack says, it's ironic that your shiny new trilogy is rejected in favor of the big titty orange girlfriend and five characters that are literally copy and paste. Um, Chris Barcella, is that a punching bag you got there? Learn yeah, that's been back there for that's been back there for a couple of months. Uh yeah, I uh I often uh I often do a little workout with the punching bag and I have my MMA gloves and everything like that. That's been that back there for months. Um let's see. Vagabond Ninja showing love for a great channel with outstanding content. Well, thank you. Thank you. And again, it's not, you know, and this channel. Like we are evolving. We are evolving. Um, we're evolving in a lot of different ways. Um, because Geeks and Gamers is is growing so much. And uh I, I'll I'll feel all of you in here in just a bit. Uh Trucker Mark USA question. How come Cara Dune does get uh correct for a hallway scene after fixing her gun? She mow down stormtroopers. Hey Joey. Um how come Cara Dune does get correct for a hallway scene after fixing her gun? She mowed down stormtrooper. Hey, Joey, I don't understand exactly what you're asking me, but I, I like if you go back and I've heard a lot of people say that uh, I've heard like this is another accusation that I've, I've heard from the uh, from these losers out there that uh, uh, that we I didn't like Cara Dune or I didn't like Gina Carano's character Cara Dune until uh, she started to share the my politics or whatever that is a fucking lie it is a blatant lie and all you have to do is the slightest bit of research and you can go back and see that i praised gina carano after her very first appearance on the mandalorian when other people were saying that it was sjw i didn't i didn't um you know i said yeah she's believable as hell She's Gina Carano. She's a legitimate badass, you know, and um, and there was some backstory to her character, which is something that we didn't see for the uh, sequel trilogy. Uh, Benjamin, what's up, man? Stay real as always. Thanks for all you do. Hashtag don't give a fuck. Hell yes, brother. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Really do. Um, I just saw black and white. Black and white. Black and white. Glad to see Jay the light on in and out. I loved Whataburger is where it's at. I sent the link to the stream to your D-Day Cobra email matrix. Yes. So again, uh, in about an hour and a half, I'm going to be joining Black and White Sports. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, go over there and subscribe because we are celebrating 100,000 subscribers. And I am so proud of my, my brothers over there. Uh, we, uh, we both hit hundred K within an hour of each other, which is incredible. Um, so absolutely awesome. And I did get the email, so uh, I will be joining you. No doubt about it. Uh, Brown fedoras, star Wars cap. So yeah, I did bring the star Wars hat back for this stream because we're going to be, we're going to be laughing at the, the, the victimized sequel trilogy fans. I did bring it back. Um, La China stands, eat the tofu burgers and sit when they pee. <laughs> um, I mean, you guys are lighting it up. That's crazy. Roger H with a super sticker. Thank you. Cowboy one. Did Jay take Gina to in and out on his date? No. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, I bet Jeremy puts a picture of Kathleen Kennedy on that punching bag. Is it true? I cannot confirm. I, I cannot confirm nor deny. Are you going to the Comments Gate convention? Um, I'm not. I don't know the details on that. Um, I, I'd heard they were trying to put something together, but I'm not totally sure um, what's going on with that. So I had to look into it. Cheeto Dawson, hail Jeremy. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's talk about. Uh, and I see my boy Jay in the chat. Uh, okay, so. Obviously, we're going to talk about this uh, this situation where the Star Wars Twitter account did something did something very disturbing, ladies and gentlemen. He did something very, very disturbing. Uh, I don't know if I want to repeat what they did because they did something very terrible. Um, Kit Kat. Doomcock, thank you for introducing him to In-N-Out Burger and pledged one uh, for every state when he takes over Earth. That's good enough for this arch villain. <laughs> Hell yeah, he did. He absolutely did. That was funny. Okay, so right here, 
Um, I'm going to try my screen share. You know, StreamYards gives me all types of fucking problems with this. Okay. There we go. Okay. So Star Wars Twitter account, Star Wars Twitter account shares this. Okay. And oh boy, oh boy, did the sequel trilogy fans get big, big mad. Okay. Now I've talked about this. I've talked about this and how I don't think there's anything to this. Like, I just think that it was the Star Wars account sharing a Star Wars image. I don't think that there's anything to it in terms of not having hap, uh, not having the, the sequel trilogy characters at all. I just think they made a post. But what's funny is how the sequel trilogy fans freaked out and lost their minds over it. That's the funny part. Because these are the same people that have said it's just a Space Wizard movie. With laser swords, why are you getting so mad? Why are you getting so mad? It's just fictional characters. Why are you getting so mad? And they lost their fucking minds over this. And, and I just thought the whole thing was funny. And this comment right here by Commander Cody is on point. It's funny how quickly sequel uh, fans are losing their minds. Legend fans have had their entire universe wiped away. And we're told to deal with it. And you all are mad about sequel characters not being included in one single photo. These people are complete hypocrites. The, these, these sequel trilogy fans are not Star Wars fans. They are activists. They are activists. Swig of water for the working man. That's all they are. They have no real interest in these universes. They have none. They only have an interest for being activists and fake victims. That's their entire existence. And again, I know people that like the sequels, and that's fine. My problem here is it's just like, why, why does it not, why can people just not like movies? Like, for instance, okay, let's name off a few movies that I like that generally other people don't like, okay? Terminator Salvation. I fucking love Terminator Salvation. It didn't do well. It didn't do well. And they didn't, they didn't continue that universe after it didn't do well. A lot of people did not like Terminator Salvation. Now, the people that didn't like Terminator Salvation, did they not like it because they don't want straight white male representation? Are they anti-male characters? Or maybe they just didn't like it. And that's fine. But I've never victimized myself because other people don't like a movie that I very much like. I love Terminator Salvation. It's not better than two because it, it's impossible. But I very much do enjoy Terminator Salvation, okay? Um, but can I just victimize myself and say that, you know, you don't like my movie? You don't validate my opinion. I need you to tell me my movie is great. No, I don't give a fuck about that. I understand that I am on the opposite side of the popular opinion. Okay, now let's go to a movie I don't like, but I recognize that other people do like. Mad Max Fury Road. I don't like that movie. I fucking hate that movie. It seems that most everyone else loves that movie. I don't. I think it's a shitty movie. I think it's got feminist bullshit in it, and it picked up for me. A lot of people it didn't pick up for. A lot of people didn't see it. I did. I don't like that movie. I think it's a beautifully shot movie. I think it's a really you know interesting from an aesthetic standpoint. But I don't like it. Other people do. That's great. I don't victimize myself over it. Now let's go to one that I know is going to be very unpopular. I like X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yes, I'm one of the 10 people on the planet that likes X-Men Origins Wolverine. I do. I enjoy the movie. Most people hate that movie. Most people hate it. Okay? And that's fine. I understand why they hate it. A lot of them are Deadpool fans. I'm not a Deadpool fan. So watching what happens to Deadpool in that, I have no problem with that. I, I, I just, I like X-Men Origins Wolverine. But I don't need to victimize myself because other people don't like it. Sequel trilogy fans are victims. They are professional victims. They have to victimize themselves and victimize everything. They have to use your opinions and say, because your opinions don't line up with mine, you are being toxic and pushing hate my way. No, you just have shitty opinions. That's called life. You have shitty opinions. 
And it's okay to have shitty opinions because we all at some point in time have an opinion that doesn't get represented by the masses. It's called life. And these people have lived in a fucking bubble their entire life and they don't want to do anything. They don't want to work for anything. They just want to be fucking victims. That's all they fucking are. That's essentially what this comes down to. Now, again, not all. But again, it doesn't matter how many times I repeat this because they're not going to clip what I'm saying now. They're going to clip the part that fits their narrative. They're going to say, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers is so mean. He says all sequel trilogy fans are so toxic and they're so horrible and they're they're professional victims. No, I didn't fucking say that. I said the, the activists on Twitter who are always victimizing themselves can go fuck off. If there are people out there that like the sequels, that's cool, man. There's no problem with that. It's okay to like bad movies. It's okay to like bad movies. Um. Oh, yes. We Are Chaos is right. We Are Chaos is, is, is actually right. I did like Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I've talked about this a lot. I unapologetically like Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Yes, I absolutely do. I absolutely do. Uh... <laughs> Miss Anthropic One, huge supporter of the channel. Love Miss Anthropic One. You like the X-Men Origins Wolverine? Unsubbed, LOL. Love you. <laughs> oh, man. That was good. That was good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just where we are, man. Uh <laughs> It's cool to have an unpopular, to like an unpopular movie, Jeremy. We all have one. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, I do. I, I have I have some questionable opinions, as we all do. All of us have these. All of us. You know what I mean? And um, nothing wrong with that. Uh, these people just need to, to uh, man the fuck up, okay? They need to man the fuck up. <clears throat> What's some other movies that I like? Hey, look, I like most Adam Sandler movies, okay? And I, I know like Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, Big Daddy, you know, all that, Little Nicky, all that. That's fine. Everybody, but but I like a lot of the other ones. Now, I don't like Jack and Jill, but I like Grown Ups. I like Just Go With It. I like a lot of them. You know what I mean? So let me see. Alex McCarthy went... Uh, in in and out in a drunk 3PO uh, if that counts. You probably said drunk 3PO shirt. So went in an in and out in a drunk 3PO shirt if that counts says Alex McCarthy. Trucker Mark ha ha, uh, a, ha, ha asking about credit for a hallway scene like oh I got you I got you. Well, I think that um, the problem is is like Cara Dune and like Darth Vader is is defined on that hallway scene in Rogue One because that's literally all he did. And it's an awesome scene. Same with Luke. Like, that's all that Luke did. So, like, you have things like the hallway scene for, like, other characters, like um, Daredevil. And that's a cool thing that gets mentioned, but it's not the, the... They don't get defined on these things because they all did more. So the reason that Vader and Rogue One and Luke and the Mandalorian are, are so heavily defined on those hallway scenes is because it's literally all they did. That's literally all they did. They didn't do anything else. You know what I mean? And so those moments just kind of stick out as, as an isolated moment. Um, let me see. Jason, the Magnificent 2.0. Raylos are demanding to speak to Disney's manager. Hell yeah. And Raylos are weird. Raylos are weird. They definitely are. Um, Cold Haterade. Uh, do you like the Alien versus Predator movies? I have never seen AVP. I've never seen AVP. I've seen the Alien movies and I've seen Predator, but I haven't seen Alien versus Predator. Um, Drew O'Connor. That's cool. I like Super Mario Bros. movie from the 90s. You know, I've never actually seen the the, the Super Mario Brothers movie. I, to my knowledge, I haven't anyway. Um, and maybe when I was young, but I don't remember it at all. I don't remember it at all. Um, Skull Fiend says, uh, F you, Jeremy, with a heart. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Noble Prince Says, I love Tron Legacy, and I know a lot of people don't like it. I get it, but I still like it. Won't hear me whining that someone doesn't agree with me, and that's how it should be. Again, I'm a sports fan, man. I, I, I'm the Disagreements and arguments and debate is what we're built on. We are built on that shit. 
You know, like that's just part of being a fan. Part of being a fan is disagreements. Part of being a fan is debating. Part of being a fan is fighting. That's just what part of being a fan is all about. And these activist sequel trilogy fans, they're not interested in a debate. They're not interested in a fight. And I mean a fight like theoretically, like a debate. They're not interested in any of that. They just want you to agree with every fucking thing they say. And if you disagree with them, you're a racist and a sexist. And we're just tired of that shit. Um, Cowboy One, you didn't like Harold and Kumar go to in and out <laughs> uh, David Moe, the remake was uh, failed because they didn't take risk and just did the OG trilogy with the Mary Sue lead. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that they more so just like you had a nice foundation with The Force Awakens and they just continue to just show that they really didn't have any ambition whatsoever. Um, WG for $50. Here's a little donation for all your hard work with the Noah Ryan Left Behind Foundation. Keep up the great work. Thank you. That's fucking awesome, man. Appreciate you. Thank you a lot. That's great. Um, black and white news. I love uh, maybe the worst Superman movie ever. Superman for the quest for peace. Mortal Kombat Annihilation is better than the new waste of time movie that they have uh, gave us. I haven't seen the new Mortal Kombat, but look, black and white, I'm with you. John, I'm with you. I like Superman 4 A Quest for Peace because of Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve is fucking magic in that movie and in that role. He's just, he is phenomenal. Like, he makes the movie watchable for me. The movie itself is a train wreck. But Reeve makes it watchable. I'm just telling you, go back and watch A Quest for Peace and tell me that Christopher Reeve is not absolute magic absolute magic the way he, he he does the clark superman like it's just fantastic the guy is second to none the definitive superman the definitive superman lethal yes yes i will take a quest for peace over man of steel because it actually has superman in it christopher reeves is, is unbelievable <clears throat> um let me see. Where are we at? Where are we at? Lancer, the AVP movies were crazy to watch at the movies. It was like being in a boxing match. Tons of people were cheering for their favorite fighter. I need to watch those movies. Sir Ruin of House Roundhead. Um, let me see. Since Gina is a fan of Drunk 3PO, how would you feel if you found out Trump, Ron DeSantis, and Tom Brady were all fans of yours? <laughs> um, I, I mean... I'm trying to, oh, and there's another one. I'll get to your question in just a minute. Lancer, who wins in a fight? Uh, Army Jones versus all of Navy Joes. Uh, oh, Army Joes versus all of Navy Joes. That's a great question. I have to think about that one further. Um, back to the Gina thing. I mean, personally, like, I don't, I don't care about, like, Tom Brady, for instance. It would be cool to talk to Tom Brady, but I don't really care to talk to Tom Brady. Same with, like, Christopher Nolan, Nick Saban, who's my favorite, you know, football coach like i don't think any of these people would fucking care about talking to me and i don't really care to talk to them um trump though yeah i i I'd definitely like to talk to trump just so i could take a picture and post it to social media just to make people cry if anything but i would love i would love to shake donald trump's hand and just tell him how much i respect him i absolutely absolutely would want to do that uh everybody else whatever but Trump, hell yeah, dude. I would love to. I would love if, if Donald Trump was a fan of mine and, and I could shake that man's hand and tell him he's the greatest president of my lifetime. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Pie Guy, Superman 3 for me. Richard Pryor makes that movie so much fun. Christopher Reeve was beating himself in the junkyard. 11 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, after Superman 2, like Superman 3 and 4 are not good movies at all they're not good they're really not good but damn man reeve makes them watchable because he's just so fucking good he's just so good and um you know it, it's just uh, uh, to me there will never ever ever be another superhero casting in the history uh, and, it, and it's hard to say like forever but to me no one will ever come close to, to Reeve as Superman. It just won't happen, man. The guy is just, he was born for that role. He defined that role. And um, everybody else, 
is just is just playing uh, for second place, in my opinion. Um, and that's not to say that I can't like other people in the role. I love Dean Kane in the role. I love Dean Kane in the role of Superman. I love it. Uh, what's this other guy's name in the Superman and Lois? I can't remember his name right now, but he's really good. He's really good. I, I think Henry Cavill with the right with the right creative aspect could be a fantastic Superman, Clark Kent. Um, so it's not to say because Reeve is so great that I won't accept anyone else because that's just not true. Um, I will absolutely accept more Superman uh, castings, but Reeve is uh, Reeve is is a, a grand slam. Um, David Mo says, "Can we get a modern Superman movie with the Superman theme already?" Oh, I know, man. Well, again, though, we see this is the thing. This is the thing. A lot of people seem to think like. We did get we did get a modern Superman movie with the with the modern super, with the old school theme, and it was Superman Returns. That's another one. Brandon Routh. I like Brandon Routh. I think Brandon Routh was a great Superman. That movie was not good. It just was not good. It had the theme. It had the you know it had the Donner Superman. It, it had all of that, and the movie just was not good. It was not good at all. Uh, Mike Hill, Gene Hackman is the best part of the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. I can't disagree with you. I mean, I obviously think Reeve is better, but Gene Hackman is just awesome. Awesome in that role. Um, Shabel Flap says, people love things that sucks uh, for nostalgia reasons. I always love the Masters of the Universe from the 80s and the first TMT, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie from the early 90s. Love the Ninja Turtles movies. Love them. Love them. Um, Chris Varsella, I personally like Tim Daly as voice of Superman. I love Tim Daly. Uh, Tim Daly was uh, also on one of my all-time favorite TV shows, Wings, uh, as Joe Hackett, the uh, the pilot, him and Brian on Nantucket. I love Wings, and Tim Daly being the voice of Superman is awesome because I'm a fan of Tim Daly. I like him a lot. Primer, I love the 2007 Transformers film because of the nostalgia. I like the first. I like the Transformer film from uh, 2007. Uh, the rest of them are are absolute dog shit, but that first one was really good, really good. Nathan, Nathan, holy shit! Let me highlight you. Um, let me see. I too a big fan of President Trump for the example of our rights and freedoms from corrupt establishment. Stay tuned for important but powerful message from me on May the fourth. Continue to the fight for the fandom rights, and we will never give up hope. That is awesome. And Nathan is very active over in our locals community. Um, so if you guys have not followed us on locals, uh, you, you're missing out on some, some, you know, and, and we're working on continuing to, uh, get that more established, but we've, we've, we're over 2000 followers on locals right now. I just dropped a link right there. Nathan is very, very active over there. So, uh, it's really cool. It's really cool that we've got that little community built up. Uh, shout out to Dave Rubin and his team for reaching out to us and working with us and making that happen. Uh, the more support we can get over there, the better, because this this team uh, at Locals has went out of their way to support us. And I encourage all of you to uh, to create your own Locals community as well. Um, again, I have no I have nothing involved. I'm not invested in Locals in terms of any you know deals or anything like that. So I'm just a creator over on that platform. And we're very impressed with what they have brought to the table and, and how well they're working with us. That's that's really what it comes down to. I know a lot of people looked at how me and Ryan were basically just like locals, locals, locals. And it's because of how much they have worked with us and and, and how well that team is organized and that there's not going to be censorship on that platform. I love locals. So uh, definitely go check us out over there. Uh, RK Outpost is over there as well. And I'm sure more members of the Geeks Gamers team is going to create their own little locals community. Um, it's basically a Patreon slash Facebook uh, situation, but also they have direct video uploading and they're working on live streaming right now. So a lot of cool things is going on. Mm. I saw a few people uh, happy that I like wings. I love the television show Wings. I love it. I have the entire season on DVD back here. I love Wings. Love it. It's so good. Lowell Mather, the Hackett brothers, Roy, Helen. So good, man. Antonio Scarpacci. It is great. It's such a fantastic series. Um, Let me see here. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let me go catch back up. Where are we at? All right. <sighs> 
uh, uh, Sir Ruin of House Roundhead, you should check out the Mortal Kombat Scorpion's Revenge. It's an animated movie you can rent on YouTube. It's great. I've heard about that, actually. I've heard about that. Thank you, Rug Rugby League. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, JJP, Savvy or Sliders all the way. In and out is fine and all, but it's got nothing on Savvy's. Loving Geeks and Gamers, a rare source for authentic news. Well, thank you. Uh, look, man, we got so much going on. Like, we have a lot of ideas that we're trying to implement. This is obviously the main channel, but we are so much more than the main channel. And the way that, you know, we're going to be able to take things to the next level is for you guys to support us on, in three different places outside of YouTube. Okay. Uh, specifically. And that's geeksandgamers.com, our website, locals and discord. Siobhan does a great job over there on, on discord. Uh, and she's been begging me for not begging, almost screaming at me <laughs> to, to get more involved in discord. And I have been a little more, uh, participating a little more over in our discord. Uh, locals is another one that's just, uh, really, really good. And, um, you know, it's, it's really exciting. Um, and this guy right here, uh, is, is upset. Cause I say my brand. Yeah. My brand. I'm gonna take my brand and I'm gonna put it in your mom's mouth. OK, and I'm going to give you a, a whole family of brothers and sisters. That's what I'm going to do with my brand. OK, my my above average brand. OK, uh, so when you have some brothers and sisters, you can thank Big Daddy Jay. All right. Um, let me see. <laughs> now we get to find out if that person's a beta or not. Are they going to cry and go? Ah, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers was mean to me. <laughs> Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers was mean to me. I am going to call the internet police. I am going to call the internet police. Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers was mean to me. Um, <laughs> all right, where are we at? <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Andy McCallum says, who would you like to see play Superman, Geeks and Gamers? Honestly, I think Henry Cavill is the perfect choice for Superman. I really do. I, I just want to see... I just want to see better writing. Like, I, I don't, look, I fucking hate Zack Snyder's universe, okay? I fucking hate it. I, Justice League was fine with the low fucking bar that I went into it to watch. I hate those fucking movies. I think that there is a fundamental misunderstanding of Superman, the character, and the rest of the characters involved. I don't like the dark, gritty, fucking slow-mo bullshit that goes along with it. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. But I think Henry Cavill is a perfect cast as Superman. I just want to see actual writers and creative people that understand the character of Superman. And Superman doesn't watch his fucking dad die in a goddamn tornado. It just doesn't happen. Get the fuck out of here. Superman does not watch his fucking dad die in a goddamn tornado. Fuck off with that shit. Fuck off. Okay? Unbelievable. What the fuck? It's so stupid. It's so dumb. And then he's making out with a woman he has no chemistry with towards the end of the movie while there's people in the fucking buildings dying. What? You're destroying multi-million dollar military equipment? Why? Why? Just so you can get their attention? Superman doesn't do that. Superman's never been like that. What the fuck are you talking about? This bullshit about Martha? Martha? What? Ben Affleck, Batman spends two and a half hours trying to kill him all to go uh, if he's even the 1% threat where you have to take him out. Oh, we share the same last name. Suddenly all that shit goes out the window. It's fucking retarded. It's stupid. These movies fucking suck. People like them? Awesome. Great. Great. Okay? But I fucking hate them. But that said, Henry Cavill is a perfectly cast person to play Superman and, um, you know, Clark Kent. I just want better writing. Dude, the anime Slayer, the anime Slayer uh, did a design for me, okay? And I want to give the anime Slayer a big shout out. And we're work and I'll, I'll give you full credit anime slayer whenever we get this finished but dude the design that he made for me for my d-day cobra channel is on point dude it's badass and it will be my official d-day cobra logo moving forward once we've figured it all out so big shout out to the anime slayer big shout out to the anime slayer 
Um, a long story short, did you ever see The Last Dragon? Leroy versus Shown Up. It came out today. Uh, let's see. Uh, SJWs are freak out so much cultural appropriation. Um, I don't remember. Oh, Titanfall 2. I see people talking about Titanfall 2. Yeah, um, a long time ago, I believe. But that's like a, the whole SJWs are freak out today. So much a cultural appropriation. Dude, I've talked about this many times. Like, Sons of Anarchy is not that far removed from being on network television. Sons of Anarchy would not fucking exist today. Like, Sons of Anarchy, there's some there's some shit in Sons of Anarchy. They say some some very, very offensive stuff by 2021 standards. For me, it's one of my favorite series of all time. You know what I mean? And um, so there's a lot of these things. Clerks 2 is another one. That's one of my favorite movies ever, okay? Love Clerks 2. There's some things in there you already know what I'm talking about. Shit would never fly today. You got Kevin Smith pretending that he's all fucking sensitive and everything now, like all being politically correct. Kevin Smith, we know who the fuck you are, bro. Okay, we know you are paranoid about being canceled for all the shit that you said in those movies. We know what we know about that. Okay, Kevin Smith is paranoid, paranoid about being canceled. It's so funny to see Kevin Smith. Uh, just cuck himself. I love, I love, I love Kevin Smith. Old school, anyway. Mm. Yeah, man. Clerks 2, one of my all-time favorite movies. I just love it. It's kind of got, it's it's one of those movies that's like, that's my go-to movie when I just, you know, you just want to watch something and th throw it on in the background. Absolutely awesome. Um, <laughs> Dude, these LeBron fans just follow us everywhere. Why are you here? This isn't even the sports channel, bro. This isn't even the sports channel. Why are you here crying about LeBron? It's not nobody brought LeBron up but you. It's fucking LeBron fans, dude. What a loser. <laughs> anyway, um, Jim Crow Biden. I love when Soy Lois, sorry, I mean, uh, Soy Lows, I mean, Ray Lows get mad when their sequels are banned from the Star Wars picture. Hmm, the taste of the Soy Lows tears is so delicious. May the fourth be with you. I stand with geeks and gamers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Chris, my first donation on this channel, geeks and gamers. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, fixing Disney Star Wars sequel trilogy fans are always the hardest to please forever offended. Thanks for calling them out, Jeremy. You're a light in the fandom. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of, um, Chris is back in the chat right now. Uh, <laughs> dropping more emojis. Chris is so excited about these emojis. She's so excited. So you guys, if you want to become members, uh, here on the channel, so you can use those emojis, you will make Chris Nova very happy. Um, Jeremy's girthy brand. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Black and white entertainment. Tell the China to hit the road. Uh, absolutely. And uh, Alex Slusher for a dollar. Yes. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. So back to the point, though. I um, man, we have like two new channels. Are are we're trying to create two new channels at this point? I'm not going to give you any details on that yet because I haven't figured all of it out. But uh. Two new channels is what we're trying to create right now. And we'll we'll just see how it goes because the opportunities that that are on the that that have presented themselves to us in the past couple of months are just insane. And we just want to continue to create a cool ass place for all of you where we can continue to have the opinions we want to have. Call out the stuff, you know, that um you know needs to be called out and that's why I mean, like with Disney Star Wars, I don't really even talk about it anymore. I I, I don't because, uh, oh, you got members rolling in, Krista. You got members rolling in now. Till all are one. There you go. You got boy do. Uh, you got a, now Krista's happy, everybody. She's going to be excited. Um, But yeah, with all the stuff we have in the works, it's really cool. Uh, anime Wars, not quite Anime Wars, not quite Anime Wars. Um, Indiana Jones, let's see. We got Steph is happy. We got members. Krista, thank you to the new members. Alex McCarthy is a member. 
Look at Krista. She's so happy now. So um, she did. She worked really hard on all these emojis. So she was really excited. So she's like, when you go live, you've got to promote the emojis. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Um, let me see. I should create a geeks and gamers. Where did, where did it go? Oh, you should create a geeks and gamers channel in Spanish. I have had those discussions. We're too, we're, we don't have the resources at this point in time. Uh, I have not watched uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I watched the first episode, but no more. No more. Um, Bones becomes a member. Thank you, Bones. Um, how do you add someone, Killer Instinct? I'm not sure how you do it with the whole highlight of things. Somebody could probably tell you. I'm not sure how you do that. Um, <laughs> I don't use emojis normally, but hey, you guys go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> El Senor Jeremy. Um, okay, so for a recap, and, and I see the members are rolling in. Uh, Valex, thank you so much. So one some more time. Or hang on, I got one more thing to check really quick. By the way, I got to give a shout out to Mesta J. Mesta J gave us a $50 uh, Streamlabs donation on our uh, Twitch stream for Call of Duty um, last Wednesday, and I forgot to give him a shout out for that. And... Uh, Diego, for $5, I also join uh, your crusade against the vile practice of milk and cereal. Cereal is a dry food. A dry food. Thank you, Diego. Ryan and I are building our coalition up. It's going to happen. Clifton 3D, we have opinions about different movies. These SJWs don't. They have a collective. Um, it, uh, it's just not uh, that they... Let's see. It is not like... Uh, they watch the movies. Just say what others tell them. That is absolutely 100% true. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lady Gravemaster. Hang on. I got to highlight that one. Damn it. Where is it at? There it is. Your G&G &G tweet said, we, not just Jeremy, I feel cheated. <laughs> hey, look, you're going to see more team members in the future. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, and... We might have, I'm, I'm having some discussions today about some, some potential stuff we're doing with the gaming side of things over on Gaming with Geeks. So stay tuned. So again, I know some people are like, where's the gaming podcast? I missed the gaming podcast. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So just give me time. Give me time. Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, I do understand Man of Steel. I understand it's a bad movie. And I understand it's okay if you like it. But Man of Steel is a is an objectively bad movie, but it's okay if you like it. Um, Christopher Reeve was my Superman. It took twenty my twenty years. Uh, let's see, it took my twenty years to watch any of that movies with him in it. Uh, great man, R.I.P. Christopher Reeve was a great man. It was a great he, he was a great man for sure. Um. Mm -mm -mm. More game live streams. Well, again, we do a lot over on Twitch. Um, not so much on YouTube, but uh, but Crack Media is now a member, uh, <laughs> and that's okay if you like Man of Steel. I'm okay with that. I look a lot of people lo love Man of Steel. A lot of people do. A lot of people in this team love Man of Steel. Okay, and and I have no problem with that. I just think it's a fucking terrible movie. Uh, Trucker Mark USA becomes a member. Batman v Superman is trash. I I'll, I gotta disagree with you on that one because it's kind of disrespectful to trash. To be honest, it's it's kind of disrespectful to trash um, because I'd say trash is actually better than Batman v Superman. If I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, um, let me see. It's uh it's good. We don't all like the same movies. The entertainment industry would uh, be even more boring than it is now. That is a hundred percent accurate. And I guess that's the whole thing about it, man. Like I'm so tired. Lady Gravemaster is a member. I, I I don't I don't know why. Well, I mean I do. I do know why. These people, these activists on Twitter, are not interested in other opinions. I mean they're inter and they're not even interested in their own opinions. They're only interested in repeating the downloaded information. They are NPCs. They are non-playable characters in the game of life. So if you're wondering what we were talking about with the Disney trilogy fans being mad, big mad, big mad, uh, this is what we're talking about right here. And I think it's funny um, right there. So this image came out 
I don't think this means anything at all. I don't think there's any hidden messaging behind it. I don't think that Disney's trying to tell you, hey, we're moving on. I don't think that at all. I think that they simply made a tweet. They included the prequel trilogy and the original trilogy. They obviously brought the Bad Batch, Ahsoka, Ventress is in there. That's awesome. I think this is a beautiful image outside of Luke looking a little feminine because let's be honest, Luke definitely looks a little feminine. I mean, come on, come on. He, he definitely does. There's no doubt about that. Um, I don't really understand that, but it is what it is. But the point is, is once they made this tweet, a lot of the, a lot of the sequel trilogy fans got very, very, very upset. Very upset. Very upset. How could you not include Ray Skywalker? How could you not include Ben Soilo? How? And um, I think this comment from Commander Cody is, is 100% spot on. It's funny how quickly sequel trilogy fans are losing their minds. Legend fans had their entire universe wiped away, and we're told to deal with it. And you all are mad about sequel characters not being included in one single photo. That is 100% accurate right there. 100%. And that's the hilarity of the whole thing. These people are weirdos. These people are activists. They're not really interested. And um, they're not interested in a conversation or discussion. They're just interested in playing victims. And that's what they do consistently. Consistently. Um, I did see this. I kind of agree with this, to be honest with you. Man of Steel is not a bad movie. It's a bad Superman movie. I actually kind of agree with that. I think if, if you're watching Man of Steel as just this story about an alien coming to Earth and finding his way, I think it's rather enjoyable. It's just a bad Superman movie. I agree with that. Ray Palpatine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Um, boom, boom, boom. Where are we at? Yes, that dude did nail it. That that Commander Cody guy, it, it's on point. Like, that's it right there. And um, the whole point of me making fun of this and laughing at this is just because the sequel trilogy fans have put themselves in this position. They put themselves in this position by every time someone would complain about the sequel trilogy and how Disney was handling it, we were always told by this group of people that, why are you getting so upset over a space wizard movie made for children? Why are you getting so upset? These aren't real characters. And then these same people want to, you know, pretend that you you literally have like, you know, attacked a real life human being by criticizing a fictional character like Rose Tico and then invent stories about how she was harassed on social media. Yet you can't show us any evidence to support that claim at all. You can show us no evidence to support it. But it, 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 but now they're going to cry because their 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 characters weren't pictured in one fucking image. And again, to be clear, I don't think this has anything to do with anything. I don't think Disney's trying to send a message. I don't think Disney's trying to say, "Oh, hey, look, look, we're not gonna we're not gonna support the sequels anymore." And that's not what this is about. They're they're, they're going to continue to do whatever they're going to do. That Star Wars isn't saved because of this fucking image. Um, but the way that the 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 weirdos are acting. That's the funny part that I wanted to focus in on because it's always fun to laugh at these people. You always want to laugh at these weirdos. No doubt about that. Um, boop, boop, boop. Um, you know what? I don't think. Hang on. I don't know if I'm going to watch the Bad Batch because I'm just so checked out on Disney Star Wars right now. I'm not sure I'm going to watch the Bad Batch because I, I stand with Gina Carano. and. What they did to Gina Carano, like, unless something happens, like, I have to hold Dave Filoni and John Favreau just as accountable as I hold anybody else there because these guys have power and influence. And uh, I am very much, uh, I'm very much 100%. Thank you. That is fucking awesome, JD. Um, I'm very much stand with Gina Carano and only Gina Carano. Uh, what they did to her and how they treated her is unforgivable. It's it's 
What they did to Gina Carano is the worst, most offensive thing that Disney has done since they purchased Lucasfilm. It's worse than any creative choices. It's worse than any comments made by Ryan Johnson. It's worse than anything Kathleen kids. What they did to Gina by publicly firing and shaming her is, is so far over the line. So I can't support Disney Star Wars. I, I Even if it's something, the Bad Batch is something that I kind of wanted to, I do want to see. Because I do like Dave Filoni, and I like the I like what they did with the Bad Batch in Clone Wars season seven, and Clone Wars season seven finale is damn near perfect Star Wars. Like it's fucking phenomenal. Dave Filoni knows what he's doing. Dave Filoni is great at what he does, and um, but I stand with Gina Carano, hundred percent, hundred percent. Fuck Disney Star Wars. Fuck Lucasfilm. That's where I'm at with it. Again, thank you, JD, for signing up to GeeksGamers.com. Means the world to me. Means the world to my team. And uh, we will continue to kick ass and take names. Do, 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 do. No, it's okay, Trucker Mark USA. Sorry for bad spelling. <laughs> Little buttons, big fingers. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Um, Sean, member of Echo Base Network here. Uh, also, Alabama resident. Love your channel. Hater of sequels, but can... Uh, but a fan of Rogue One and Solo and The Mandalorian. Yeah, I mean, um, I think Rogue One, I don't hate Rogue One. I just don't like Rogue One either. I'm just kind of whatever on that. Kind of the same with Solo, um, but more so I kind of am on the dislike of Solo. But Solo did lose money. Um, and of course, Mandalorian I thought was uh, good for the most part, for sure. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Um, Eric. Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. Uh, where are we at? Lady Great Master, it's the Disney trilogy, not the sequel trilogy. That trash isn't even Star Wars. It's Raylo Wars. Eternals is going to tank the MCU hard. Hashtag we love Gina. We absolutely love Gina. No doubt about it. St we stand with Gina. Mm-mm-mm. Why was Quarter Black Garrett on that stream with you? What stream? Last night? Quarter Black's always on Friday Night Tights. And he's actually going to join us for Mario Kart this Sunday as well, it sounds like. Uh, so if you have not followed us on Twitch, you need to do that because we play Mario Kart every Sunday. And it's crazy. And it's insane. Young Rippa joins us. Star Wars Theory uh, joins us every other week, it seems like. You know, he's he's obviously has a he has an open invitation every week. Sometimes he can make it, sometimes he can't. Uh, Quarter Black said that he wants to uh, play with us this Sunday. Uh, what was uh, There's so many people that were trying to get on that Mario Kart stream. It is insane. It's crazy. Drunk 3 PO's there. Krista, Tugs, Ryan hosts. Uh, Ivan's there. I mean, we only fit 10 people on the call. So it's kind of getting to a point where we're trying to figure out who, who can make it and who can't. It's kind of crazy. All right. Where are we? Let's see. Uh, hashtag we love Gina. Yes, absolutely. In October. Um, I can. Uh, I call the Force Awakens Disney Wars. The Farce Awakens. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, again, one thing. If if uh, if you didn't hear me earlier, I'm going to be joining Black and White Sports in about 50 minutes over on their channel to live stream and celebrate them hitting 100,000 subscribers. Um, Love those guys. Really proud of those guys. So I think Ryan is going to join us as, as well because obviously Sports Wars just hit 100K, black and white. Sports just hit 100K. We're over there to celebrate them, stand with them. John, Rhodes, Rants do great work. So uh, make sure you're subscribed to black and white and uh, make sure you tune in here in about 50 minutes over there. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Let me see. Let me see. Um. Let's see. I also stand with Gina Carano. That said, part of me wants to see Bad Batch. It's only happening as long as Filoni had nothing to do with what they did to this lovely woman. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, I don't, I personally don't, and again, I have nothing to, I, I can only speculate, okay? I can only speculate. I don't think that Dave Filoni and John Favreau had anything to do with Gina Carano getting fired, but I also feel that they have a voice that's strong enough that they could have at least made a, a, a stand and and I think they could have stopped it from happening but that's just speculation on my part I don't know I don't know for a fact that they have that much power but it seems like they do and she's 
you know, somewhat significant part of what they're doing. But at the end of the day, I stand with her. I don't stand with anything that they're doing after after how they treated her. She did not deserve that. No one deserved that, especially how you let all of your left wing employees run their fucking mouths on social media constantly about how much they hate Trump and how everybody's an alt right Nazi. And, and all that's fine. But Gina Carano can't share her opinion with a fucking meme or a, or, or an image or whatever. Fuck you. It's bullshit. Mm. Um, where are we at? Disney Story Origins Podcast. I love what you do. While your ungoverned hatred of Disney can rub me wrong sometimes, I tend to agree with you. It breaks my heart to see Disney making the moves they are making. Stay vocal. It does make a difference. Well, thank you. And, I mean, just to be honest, uh, Disney Story Origins Podcast, I don't have, like, a... The problem is, is, like, I'm a fan of Disney, and I have been for a long time. So my anger and animosity towards them is because I'm so frustrated. Like, I love Walt Disney World. I love going to Walt Disney World. I love being on property. I love going to the gift shops. I love going to the different, um, you know, resorts. I just love being there. It's a different world. It's a different atmosphere. It's it's like it's like you're transformed into another universe when you're there, and now that how they are pushing all of the identity politics into the parks as well. It's just like what are we doing here? What the fuck are we doing? This is insane, and I'm tired of it. And I'm t again, I was a defender of the purchase of Lucasfilm when it happened, and, and I, because I was happy because I was like, we're gonna get more Star Wars, we're gonna get theme parks, we're gonna get this. They've just completely just thrown all of that goodwill away. So my my anger and frustration towards Disney is because I've been a long time Disney fan. And to see how they've what to see the road they've gone down, it, it makes me furious. But I do appreciate the super chat. Uh, but I just want to give that clarification. Um Noble Prince says I honestly feel the same as Jeremy as a lifelong Star Wars fan. It's sad how I could care less about anything Disney Star Wars is making. I just don't care anymore. That's me too. Again, the only reason I'm wearing this hat is to kind of troll the Disney Star Wars fans because this was purchased long before Disney purchased Lucasfilm and it was purchased at a Disney park at Walt Disney World uh long before. I had this I've had this hat not this particular hat because this is a newer version that someone gave me my the one I used to wear back in the day for all those years on this channel is over in the corner somewhere there it's kind of it's not in great shape uh, so boom 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 ba -ba boom 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 what's with all the rumors about Kathleen being on her way out I know nothing about that uh, I don't think she's going anywhere I don't think she's going anywhere at least anytime soon. Um, dude, did you see where people tried spinning more garbage about theory because he defended himself against a dude who disrespected him on his own stream? I did. Uh, well, I didn't see what people are saying, but I did see that whole thing play out. And um, I mean, I, I, I talked to him about this. Like, theory did the right thing. He handled that exactly how you know, you would expect someone uh, 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 of his stature to, to uh, handle it. And that's why he is who he is. Um, so if you don't know the story, so Theory uh, does these streams over on his channel and he occasionally brings people on and they have discussions and he brought some guy on that like some, some nobody guy. And this guy just like went in on him, like criticizing his channel and criticizing how he does things. And it was like, whoa, what the hell, bro? You are on a live stream with a dude with three million subs, and he offered you his platform, and that's how you that's how you respond it was insane. And um, you know, theory defended himself, and then obviously this this person got an enormous amount of uh you know criticism, rightfully so, on the internet because of how they behave. And then Star Wars Theory decided to do another stream to clear the air, and they were able to clear the air. And I think that that was exactly how Theory should have handled it. Um, and of course, the, the people that are out there that want to hate him are going to hate him. He is a great dude, man. He really is. He's a, he's a solid dude. Uh, he handles himself well. He's getting caught up in a lot of stuff that shouldn't be caught up in, and, and he continues to handle it well. Um, and, and I got his back. Always got his back, man. So these people are just, um, 
These people are insane. I mean, Theory goes out of his way to do the best he can, and he does a damn fine job at it. Uh, better than me. Far better than me. Uh, let me see. Where are we at? Um, but would you like them to gamble to save her and lose uh, and possibly not have them there at all or 100% keep them there for a long game? I don't know what you're talking about. What is this in reference to, Soul Fiend? Is this like a carryover from your other super chat? I don't know what that's in reference to, but would you like them to gamble to save her and lose? And pause? Oh, oh, uh, are you talking about Gina? Um, yeah, I mean, at this point, they're got. If you're talking about Gina and Dave and all that, if that's if I think that might be what you're talking about, like I, I think that okay, John and Dave. Okay, no, I think that at this point in time, you got to stand up for what's right. And if John and Dave really are those those guys, which a lot of people seem to think that they are. You, you you can't let like as long as Lucas the problem with Lucasfilm right now is there's a lot of people at Lucasfilm that don't like what's going on but they can't say anything and until you have prominent voices that are willing to stand up against this, the, what's going on it's going to continue John and Dave um, again just just my opinion I'm not sitting here saying they have to do anything I'm saying for me. I've they've lost my support and my interest because of what happened to Gina. So if you're asking me how I think that it should have went, how I would have felt comfortable about it, this is my answer. But to be clear, they're welcome to do whatever they want in the posi position they're in. I'm just an outsider sitting in his fucking pool house, you know, bitching about Star Wars. So let's clarify all of that. But for me, based on how I see it, if John and Dave Filoni are, are truly about Star Wars and they see what happened to Gina Carano. Again, if Gina Carano would have been an isolated incident and you didn't have any other employees at Lucasfilm spewing their left-wing rhetoric, if, if nobody else was doing that and Gina started talking about it and it became a problem for them, I could understand. But that's not what happened. For years, we have seen these left-wing employees spewing their nonsense over and over and over again at Lucasfilm. And so the fact that Gina got fired and publicly publicly um you know shamed you've got to have somebody at that company that's like guys what we're doing is wrong what's going on is wrong you can't let that happen do you know how many people do you know how many people have come to me privately and publicly and said that i need to get rid of uche because of the whole thing that went down I'm not going to listen to any mob mentality. I'm never going to listen to a mob mentality ever. Uche is here because Uche is a valuable member of this team. He may make mistakes. I might make mistakes. Other people might make mistakes, but I will never listen to a mob coming after anything ever, ever. If you want that type of leadership, Christian Harloff is there. Okay. Because after what he did to Robert Meyer Burnett, when the mob was coming, Christian bent the knee. OK, that ain't me. I'm not here because people want to get angry over something like that. Never. Fuck that. It will never fucking happen. And so the fact that Disney listened to a mob because they're fucking weak and beta, it's fucking bullshit, man. But these guys have to we have to stand up to the bullshit. You can't let that shit happen. You can't let it happen. All right, let me see. Where are we at? The chat just keeps falling behind on me. I saw Lady Gravemaster send a huge super chat. Can I get to it? Damn it, I can't highlight it anymore. Sorry, Lady Gravemaster. It, 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 stream, stream Yards has got to fucking fix that. Lady Gravemaster, because I love and affiliate with Geeks and Gamers, even Ryan, been a member of the website for months, will support you in all your endeavors, you and others in the community are the future of fandom and entertainment. Uh, and HW knows it, uh, which is why they hate you. Hollywood knows it. It's why they hate you. Lady Grave Master, thank you. That is awesome. Sorry I couldn't highlight your comment. Uh, Streamlab or StreamYards um, moved too much on me. And uh, so I, I couldn't get back to it. But thank you, Lady Grave Master. You're awesome. Appreciate you. Appreciate everything that you do for us for Friday Night Tights. 
uh, that poll you did for Ryan and um, Krista yesterday, I was telling Krista last night, I was like, I love that whole little thing with between Krista and, and Ryan and the retweeting and the comments we were able to make. Like that just continues to show the personality of, of all the people at Geeks and Gamers. And uh, hell yeah, man. Good shit right there. Good shit. Bobby Sharps, uh, do you have a long-term plan for Geeks and Gamers? Because hating on something uh, can only last for a time. Where does this go after you realize... Uh, our loves are dead. Um, well, yeah, of course I do. I mean, again, I can't tell you how many people said that Geeks and Gamers would be dead um, after the first year. You know, uh, people said that it, Geeks and Gamers would be dead after this. Like, we are killing it everywhere, you know? And the most, the most um, satisfaction I get is to prove people wrong. I love doing it. I fucking love proving people wrong. It, it's it. I remember everything. I remember when people doubted me over sports wars. I remember that shit, and it motivates me. I, I've seen all the shit people said when when the Zack Snyder thing happened. Like, oh, geeks and gamers is dead. No, we're fucking not. In fact, in fact, we have we have gotten so many opportunities in the last two weeks. I can't even keep my fucking head on straight because I, I, it's so much to deal with. You know. I remember when I brought Ryan on the team and people questioned, who the fuck is this guy? Who is Ryan? Why is Jeremy bringing him on? Because he's fucking awesome. Because he's a fucking machine who is going to kill it. And he's not going to take anything. He's not going to take anybody's bullshit. You know, why is he bringing drunk 3PO to run a theme park channel? Because he's drunk 3PO and he's awesome. He's a mega star. Who's this fake gamer girl, Krista? Now, now what do you think about Krista? She's a fucking star. And so I remember everything people say about me, and I will always use that. I, I don't care if it's a year. I don't care if it's five years or 10 years. I will always throw it back in your face when you are proven wrong because that's just how I am. That's how I operate. It's how I'm built. I like to prove people wrong. I like for you to cry because you were wrong. I love to throw it in your face. I'm petty as fuck. Yes, I'll admit it. I'm petty as fuck. Okay? Okay. Because when I see people throwing shade at me, it just motivates me. It just motivates me to continue. In terms of the long-term plans, like I said, we've got five channels now, right now. We've got the website. We've got the YouTube channel. We've got locals. And the other things that we are working on are going to take us in a whole different direction, like a, a whole different direction. And the opportunities we have are there. And I, I've said a long time ago that there's different things that I want us to, to get into, different things we want to cover. Like right now, we're doing the anime thing right now for premium, and it's doing really well. And it may open doors up for us to do more with that in the future. I never imagined we would have a, a theme park channel. I never imagined we'd have a sports channel over 100,000 subs. I never imagined any of that. So we got a lot of uh, cool stuff going on. And um, what didn't I see? What didn't I see? Did I miss something? Trying to, uh, let's see. Yep. There's, and again, classic example right here is, is Siobhan, who disagrees with most of my takes. On a scale of one to 10, Siobhan, scale of one to 10, I'd say, now let's just do a percentage 100% being the most, 0% uh, being the least. How much have you agreed with me in this stream? Zero to 100%. How much have you agreed with my takes, Siobhan, in this stream? Because you've been watching the whole time. You have a super... Did you send a super chat, Dre? I don't see a super chat. Oh, <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> 99 cent from Jay. Let me see if I can highlight that shit. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Okay, what does Siobhan say? There we go. Siobhan says she might have agreed with 5% of what I said during this stream. <laughs> 5%. Um, I believe in three or four years, Geeks and Gamers two or three times as big as it is now. It's possible. It's possible. It's gonna. It, we can't. We can't slow down though. We can't slow down at all. Uh, 
Uh, go get them, Jeremy. When you're being petty is when I like you the best. Uh, <laughs> okay, where are we at? I got to catch up. Um, but yes, thank you, Lady Grave Master, for your support. Appreciate you, Bobby. Thank you for that uh question. Buttcrack Media for 99 cents. Anton, uh, thank you for the super sticker. Callista, I was watching that theory stream and it felt scripted what that kid was saying to him. It got me angry seeing that kid say these things and also seeing Theory got angry. He handled it better than me. No, he did. He handled it great. He handled he did a great job. And um it's that it's that entitled mentality, man. Like you go into you go into that platform or that that stream, man. So uh, and, and you do that. Theory did a great job. Uh, Christoph, the Polish guy. What is shocking that before they actually fired Gina, I thought it was just dumb. SJWs being dumb. I didn't expect Disney would actually go that low, and that's the whole problem. They did go that low because they're pieces of shit. Solfine, F Ryan, and Joey three PO. Uh, Joey 3PO, it's got a ring to it. Joey 3PO. Uh, there's Drunk's 99 cent super chat. Spike TV, or was that Spike TV? Jeremy here preaching the truth as always. Thank you and the rest of the geeks and gamers for being my inspiration to be a good podcaster. Well, thank you. That's awesome, man. And, um, I appreciate that. And, and that's what we want to do. Like we want to continue to like, again, there were people that inspired me. People that you may not like to this day, which I totally understand. You know, someone like um, John Campia. Regardless of what you or me may think of John Campia right now, John Campia helped inspire me to become who I am uh, in terms of, you know, YouTube and everything like that. That's just a fact. That is a fact. John Campia, huge inspiration to what I'm doing. And I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. Um, he'll probably never talk to me. He'll probably never acknowledge my existence, like outside of a maybe a passive aggressive thing here or there, because he's that's just the world he's in, man. Um, and we don't see eye to eye on a lot of things, but he did help inspire me. <clears throat> and um, and I won't forget that. And and I, I hope that we inspire others along the way too. Like I said, people like Christian Harloff. I'm a fan of Christian Harloff. Okay, not so much now, but I'm just saying in general, like. I, I've, I've met Christian. I've shook his hand. I've met, you know, John, I've, I've shaken their hands and, you know, I, I was a big fan of them back in the day. Um, and, and I do, will, I will never not appreciate what they've done. Um, but I do like, uh, Christian, generally speaking, I might take a, a shot at this or that or the other, but I like Christian. Um, Let's see. Mephisto says, uh, one of the problems we have, Jeremy, is that there are far too many people in our uh, societal institutions that turn a blind eye and a deaf ear to what is going on. I mean, I don't disagree. I don't disagree at all. Um, and and uh, that is one of the many problems we have, for sure. Um, Andy McCallum, I like Uche, even when he hates uh, dressing gowns. <laughs> Uche is a trip, man. He's Uche's awesome. Uh, Josiah RTR, shout out to Fat Steven. He's 20 subs away from 1K. Well, Fat Steven Seagal, let's get Fat Steven Seagal to 1,000 subs. We can get 20 people in here, can't we? Dr Mods, drop a link to Fat Steven Seagal, uh, his channel. Let's get him to 1,000. Bobby Sharps, I'm not questioning you. I'm just wondering what the content will be because the things that we are trying to save are lost. What's new to turn to? Um, well, I mean, again, I think, um, like, for instance, um, you go over to our Mario Kart streams on Twitch Sunday. There's nothing. We're not bitching about Hollywood. We're not we're not doing anything but playing video games and having fun and entertaining. And people are loving that Mario Kart stream. Same with our Call of Duty Wednesdays. We're just there playing games and having fun. Now, um, it's a it's a small step, but like we did just, you know, an, we did release a, vi a video game based on geeks and gamers myself being the main character the second game is in the works um i don't think that this game is going to do anything as far as hitting masses or anything like that it's going to be a game that our core audience appreciates but you don't know what these things are going to lead to we are creating a video game it might not be a video game that appeals to the masses but it's going to appeal to our hardcore fan base but who knows what's going to come of that idea that's going to be an awesome opportunity in the future. We may have people like, I'll just say this. After the first game, and then I mentioned that we were looking for people to help here or help there. I, I, what if I have people that have worked on 
massive video game titles that have reached out to me that wanted to help. Now, we're not going to involve anybody like that yet because I don't I think that, that that's going to we're going to be reaching too far, but the opportunity is there. And who knows what these opportunities are going to bring um, in the future. And yeah, there's John Pearson who said uh, Sunday Mario Kart streams is the highlight of my week. Uh, thank you, John. That's fucking awesome, man. We have a lot of fun doing it, and we glad you we, we're glad you guys enjoy it. But um, you know, my whole thing, like I said, I just started to watch anime, and I think a lot of people are opening their eyes up to different um, aspects of media. And anime, there's it's it's a whole different ball game over there. I still think Nintendo and a lot of video games are still a safe place for a lot of people. Um, I don't think identity politics has ruined a lot of video games. It has ruined some, but not all. And that's just something that we should probably keep in mind as well. But we will continue to evolve because there's always a new opportunity that will present itself. Again, geeks and gamers, from the thing I created back in 2012 or 2011, I think, I created Geeks and Gamers as local video game tournaments. That's what it was. Local video game tournaments, in-person tournaments with, you know, LAN parties and everything like that. That's what Geeks and Gamers was when I first created it. And we did a lot of tournaments for uh, over a year and very successful. And But it burnt me out. And I was very, I didn't have a lot of resources. I was borrowing equipment from people. And it burnt me out, and um, it was a lot. So then I kind of took a step back from it. Life got in the way. I was focusing on that. And then it evolved into this whole Facebook group that we created, and that's kind of how the whole thing started um, and, and how it was created. And then then um, we created the, the website. It was just like a little blog. And then it kind of turned into this whole thing where we created a YouTube channel. And then it's turned into where we rebuilt the website. It's a constant evolution of where we're going to go. And now we have things like a theme park channel and a sports channel and a Twitch channel. And we have video games in development and we're doing merch and we've got people contacting us from all over the country wanting to work with us. It will continue to evolve and we're not going to hold back um, on, on the opportunities we're going to go after because you can't be, a, you can't be scared to fail because guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Everybody can sit here and go, wow, Jeremy and geeks and gamers have, uh, 300,000 subscribers and then they have a hundred thousand on this channel. And then D day Cobra has like 80,000 subscribers and drunk three PO's blowing up and Ryan's blowing up and all this. Do you know how many times I've failed? Like I have failed far more than I have succeeded. I have made, I have had so many ideas that have failed miserably and that's just part of life. And it's part of success. You have got to not fear failure because I fail all the time and everybody that's successful fails all the time. You can't be afraid of failure. You have to fucking take risks and everything's not going to work. Everything is not going to work. It's just not possible, but you learn from that shit. But until you put yourself out there, you don't know. So you got to keep trying. Stop being scared of failure because the moment you allow failure and the fear of failure to determine you, you will fail all the time, every time. Stop being scared. Now, look, that's not to say I don't have my insecurities because I have insecurities every time I make a decision. Swig of water for the working man. Every time I make a decision, every time I make a decision, I'm like, God damn, is this going to work? Is this going to work? You know, are the people that hate me going to sit here and use the fact that this video didn't work or this idea didn't work or this project? And of course, they're going to fucking go after me. Of course, they're going to use it. Of course, they're going to celebrate when we don't succeed because that's what they are focused on. But we can't allow that to determine our decisions. We have to continue to move forward. And that's what we're going to continue to do. Um, OK. Where are we at? D-Day Doggy for a dollar super chat. Leia is in the house. D-Day Doggy in the house. That is awesome. Hell yeah. Glad to see you back, Leia. Where you been? Haven't seen you in a long time. Um, Christoph, the Polish guy, might sound like a stretch, but is it possible for geeks and gamers to actually start organizing actual events and even create a theme park? Um, it's, it's, not, it's not a stretch in the long term, but it's definitely something I can say that we are in no way, shape, or form prepared to do right now. But the opportunities that lie ahead 
Um, if we able to maximize those opportunities and continue to get the support from all of you, then the sky is the limit. Um, and again, that's why we just continue to talk about locals and geeks and gamers.com. Those are the two places that if you go there and support us on those two platforms, that's going to help us continue to build what we got. So locals, geeks and gamers.com. Um, that's the places to do it. And then you never know what happens after that. I just shared it again on locals. I'll probably tonight or tomorrow upload a locals exclusive video. Um, and you'll all be able to see it. Even if you, now you have to follow it, join the community. You got to join the community of geeks and gamers, join that community. And then you'll be able to, uh, you know, see what we have going on over there. Um, till all are one. $20. There's plenty of positive content on your channel to balance out the negative. So for anyone to make the argument that you wouldn't have anything to do otherwise or whatever just shows they haven't been paying attention. Thank you. There it is right there. There's plenty of positive content on your channel to balance out the negative. Uh, so for anyone to make that argument that you wouldn't have anything other otherwise or whatever just shows they haven't been paying attention. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of bullshit to talk about. There's just a lot of bullshit to talk about. Um, let's see. Spike TV says, uh, will you do a Mario party stream now that you can play the boards online? If so, I challenge you. So that's an interesting thing you bring up. Nintendo being Nintendo. I love them so much, but damn, if they aren't confusing. Oh my God. So Nintendo three fucking years after releasing Mario party on the switch suddenly decides, Hey, here's an update. Now you can actually fully play Mario Party online. It's so weird. It's so weird. I have criticized them so much for this Mario Party game because they should have had this when they released it. But here we are. So I am very interested in me and the Geeks and Gamers team playing Mario Party. So I will be, I, I will be looking into that. Um, because I'm very interested. Nintendo just fascinates me with their decision making. It's absolutely incredible um that they just out of nowhere you're like what is going on it's so funny but i definitely want to play it and maybe we can maybe we can play soul fiend is a new member thank you so much um trucker mark usa on your mc show is there a place for a members only um well so on if you're talking about if you're, mc are you talking about mario kart be Mario Kart with a, with a, with a K if that's what you're talking about. So Mario Kart on Sunday and then the Mario Kart stream on Monday typically is on Monday for our premium members and we have premium members play with us. Uh, but this Monday we're actually playing Warzone with all of our premium members. So if you're a member uh, on geesengamers.com uh, or on Locals, you're going to have an opportunity. You're going to have an opportunity to play Warzone. We're going to have a private lobby and the Geeks and Gamers team is going to be there uh, we're going to be using discord and we're going to play Warzone on a private lobby. It's going to be crazy. I'm not good at Warzone, but a lot of people on the team are. So we're looking very, very much forward to that. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be crazy fun. Slayer Sigma Zeta says, Jeremy, you, uh, echo all conservative talking points. Why not take the dive and just call yourself a conservative? It's not a dirty word. It's not that I think it's a dirty word. Um, I'm just not a conservative. I, I'm, I am a very much an independent thinker. Um, you know, I'm a Trump fan. I'm a Trump supporter. That's what I am. And, um, whatever that, whatever label that puts me in, that's fine. Um, if I was scared of labels and dirty words, I would not call myself a Trump supporter. I am a Donald Trump supporter. That's who I am. Um, I don't like the Republican Party, generally speaking. I've always hated George W. Bush. I thought he was a shitty president. I don't like Mitch McConnell. I don't like the establishment politicians on whatever side of the aisle they're on. I hate the establishment. I hate politicians, especially the establishment. So I'm a I'm a Trump guy. So whatever Trump, whatever Trump, um, you know, uh, is aligning with, that's what I align with. I am a Donald Trump supporter. I'm also a Ron DeSantis supporter because I live in the state of Florida and Ron DeSantis is awesome. But, you know, the Sean Hannity's of the world, you know, the Fox News is of the world. They're not much better than CNN. They're just not, you know, um, Fox News will. Uh, oftentimes tell you what you want to hear, but then they'll also tell you what, you know, the lies that they want to spread. Like, they're no better. They're just CNN with the, with the right leaning side. I'm a Trump guy. That's what I am. I'm a Donald Trump supporter. 
And the more that upsets people, the better I feel about it. I am not ashamed of Donald Trump. I'm not ashamed to support him. I'm not ashamed that I voted for him in 2016. I'm not ashamed that I voted for him in 2020. And I will not be ashamed to vote for Trump DeSantis in the year of 2024, which I think will be the ticket. Um, but in terms of uh, Republicans, conservatives, all that, um, George W. Bush killed the Republican Party for me. And uh, I've been checked out ever since. So, um, and, and, and George W. Bush showed his true colors. Like, like he, he aligns with, with the establishment. George W. Bush is just a puppet. He's a piece of shit. Um, and, and most of these, most of these, uh, right. These, uh, these, uh, rhinos are that they're just, they're, they're not, they're not good people. So anyway, ooh, butter biscuit behind the stream, but, uh, behind on the stream, but just giving suggestion to put your information on premium chat on discord. So we can find frame request you from Monday premium stream. Thank you, Butter Biscuit. That's actually uh, that's actually a good suggestion. Um, yeah. So again, Monday Premium, we are playing Warzone with our Premium members, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Um, Phil TMT says that C Geeks and Gamers, you may be a Trump supporter, but I don't care. I mean that in a respectful way. You're a good person. I may not agree with all of your takes, but you're still one of my favorite YouTubers. That's all I ever ask. That's all I've ever asked. You don't have to agree with me at all. You don't have to agree with me at all. And and uh, and I know that Phil, you're good people. So um. All right, listen, so we are going to, uh, hang on, I got to check Streamlabs. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me see. Escape Goat. Hey, thanks for reading this donation. Um, let's see, nice. A fellow YouTuber of yours does not even accomplish this in his square ups. Um, although I know it can be a plague to get a couple of hundred dollars super chats. The smaller things in life are important too. Um, no, I, um, I, I, if you're talking, I don't know if you're talking about Gary, but Gary busts his ass, man. And, and everything that Gary has to, Gary's my brother. Um, I hope you're, if, if, if you're talking about Gary, let me know. I would like to know because I would like to, you know, if there's an issue with him not getting to a super chat, I will more than ha be happy to tell him because Gary goes over and beyond to try and, um, do everything he can to read any super chats um, that he missed because Friday night tights is a, a crazy, crazy show. A lot of people, you know, there's, there's 8,000 people sometimes that watch that show at, on a live stream. You can't, and then you've got so many panelists, like I've got, you know, 1200 watching me right now and I'm by myself and it's, it's not, I'm keeping up with it just fine. But you can only imagine with Gary with a full panel with seven, eight thousand people watching. It's crazy. It's crazy. So I appreciate your super chat, but I gotta say, like Gary goes, Gary does more than anyone could ever imagine. There are YouTubers that don't get half the super chats Gary reads or that Gary gets, and they don't read a portion of what Gary does. Like Gary is committed to constantly, constantly you know, doing all he can for, um, for his, you know, paying customers and just the viewers. Uh, Gary is the real deal. He is the real deal. Um, do I think the Wii U is underrated? Absolutely. Positively. Positively. I think the Wii U is incredibly underrated, but Nintendo's fault. Nintendo's fault of what happened. It was all Nintendo's fault. They fucked it up. <clears throat> Um, they definitely fucked it up. And that was their fault. Nobody else is really. Uh, the Anime Slayer, again, Anime Slayer has got some cool-ass artwork that he's done for um, for me, for my D-Day Cobra channel. As soon as we finalize that, I will be rolling that out. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Like I said, I'm going to be right here on this channel in about in about 15 minutes. I think. Are you guys still watching black and white? Let me know. Uh, 2 p.m. Central. So, yes, in 15 minutes, I'm going to be right here on this channel. I just commented. Um, so make sure you go and follow me over there. D-Day Doggy says, tell Ryan and Joey in and out rules. Also, F Disney. Hell yes. Um, so there's the link. I got it. I got it. I got it, D-Day Doggy. I got it. Black and white sports. Myself and Ryan Kennel will be live over there on Black and White Sports to celebrate their 100,000 subscribers uh, stream. I'm looking forward to that, and it's going to be awesome. Those guys are great. 
Uh, let me see. Also, I do want to give a shout out to something else real quick. Look at this. You want to see something cool? You want to see something cool? You want to see something cool as hell? You want to see something cool? Check this out. Check this out. Okay. Uche is going to have Diamond Dallas Page, DDP, over on his channel. DDP. That's right. Diamond Dallas Page is going to be on Uche's channel. Is that not awesome? That's fucking awesome, bro. Come on. That is badass. DDP is going to be on Uche's channel. That's fucking crazy. Okay. That is crazy. Yeah, DDP is fucking awesome. A legend. A legend. Okay? So anyway, uh, we're going to wrap it up there. Thank you guys so much for all of the love. Thank you for uh, everything. Let's see. Kit Kat says, the future of pop culture is independent publication, independent production, independent marketing, independent distribution, and an independent internet structure. We'll establish it piece by piece. I love your thinking. Right there. Look at this. Hang on. I'm highlighting that one. God damn it. Where's it at? Why didn't it show up? Why didn't it show up? There it is. This is a fantastic super chat. This right here, this right here is perfect. The future of pop culture is independent publication, independent production, independent marketing, independent distribution, and an independent internet structure. We'll establish it piece by piece. That is awesome. That is perfect right there. And that's what Geeks and Gamers is trying to do. That is what we're trying to do. Um, I saw the John Beck. I'm a premium on Geeks and Gamers. I missed how to get grandfathered in on locals. Is that too, uh, is that too soon? Um, no, it's not. So the John Beck, um, I, will, um, I will get either Ryan or Krista to reach out to you. And I'll make sure we get this covered. So uh, I'll... Uh, you need to sign up to locals with the same email that you signed up to geeksandgamers.com with. If you do that, you'll be covered. Um, so again, join us over on locals. Loving it over there. Thank you guys for the support. Appreciate all of you. I'll see you over on black and white sports here in about 13 minutes. Thank you to the mods. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for everything you have going on. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you later. And we will talk to you then. Bye, everybody.